Arthur Flegenheimer, nicknamed Dutch Schultz, was a ruthless crime lord who made his millions during the days of American Prohibition. In 1935, he was shot and died of peritonitis in the hospital, taking his secrets to the grave. One of the secrets was a waterproof steel safe weighing three tons, which the gangster acquired shortly before his death. They say he kept his savings in it, banknotes, securities, gold bars, and diamonds for $7 million, today it is about $150 million. The Dutchman Schultz wanted to hide his money where no one could ever find it, and, apparently, he succeeded. The safe seems to have been buried somewhere on the outskirts of New York. The location was known only to the gangster himself and his right hand, the bodyguard Lulu, a.k.a. Bernard Rosencrantz, possibly somewhere along Stony Cloud Creek in the village of Phoenicia, New York. This hypothesis is explored in the 2020 PBS documentary Secrets of the Dead, Gangster's Gold. On-screen treasure hunters Steve Zizilik and Ryan Fizakas used personal connections to locate the treasure. They spoke to local private detective Bruce Alterman and the grandfather of documentary filmmaker Elizabeth Trojan, who had once worked for Schultz as a heavyweight. According to the filmmakers, the photograph of Stony Cloud Creek preserved in the documents of Dutch Schultz is of great importance. Why? Because, as Fizakas explains, in the 1930s, film was expensive and people tried not to exchange it for random pictures of the countryside. Yes, the picture could have been an accident, it is possible, but unlikely, in his opinion. As for direct witnesses, there was Schultz's bodyguard, as well as his lawyer, who claimed to have seen a safe full of money and jewelry. Another evidence is considered the deathbed delirium of Schultz himself. It was incoherent, but it contained an appeal to Lulun and a request to return to Phoenicia to cash the freedom bonds. Dutchman Schultz, by the way, he is not a Dutchman at all, but a descendant of German Jews is a classic example of how someone was in the right place at the right time. When Prohibition was in effect in the United States in 1920-1933, Schultz made very good money on it. He even got the nickname Beer Baron. He worked in tandem with Joey and O.I., who ran an underground restaurant. They formed a partnership that challenged the existing power of the underworld. Their opponents were the five families of the Italian Mafia and the Irish Mafia. In such a situation, one wrong move, and your forbidden cocktail becomes the last one. After the repeal of Prohibition, Schultz continued his illegal activities. A new source of income for him was the Harlem Numbers scam, a lottery involving bets on the racetrack. He was also involved in restaurant racketeering and many other dark deeds. Prosecutor Thomas Dewey tried to nail Dutch Schultz for tax evasion, and never left him alone. The gangster decided to kill the prosecutor, but in the end he himself lost his life. Having learned about his intention, other gangsters made their decision and sent killers to him. This picture shows the murder scene of Dutch Schultz. It happened in a restaurant in Newark, New Jersey. Two hitmen shot him and three of his bodyguards, Otto Berman, Leo Frank, and Bernard Rosencrantz. All died either on the spot or later in the hospital. So, the fate of the beer baron was decided by a bullet. But the fate of his legendary safe has not been decided to this day. So far, no one has found him, although the hunt for the treasures of the Dutch Schultz has not stopped all these years.